Social media connects us to people we like and love, but it also connects us to advertisers that target us using algorithms. The ads that are targeted at children under the age of 18 are now causing concern. There's a bill that would ban social media algorithms from targeting children, and it's getting bipartisan support. Representative Kristen Robbins of Maple Grove authored the bill, and Shannon Sladen sat down to speak with her in today's Newsmakers segment. Last fall during interim, I was reading some articles in the Wall Street Journal. They had done two really in-depth studies on the impact of social media on these bots that they created that were thir supposedly 13 to 15-year-old children and how they were being targeted incessantly over a two-month period. And it just really um, crystallized for me. I've always known there were problems with social media. I was very kind of strict with my own kids when they lived at home about social media. But seeing the impact in two months of more than 42,000 really harmful videos being targeted at these kids that, you know, bots, thankfully, sure. really crystallized that, you know, we've been waiting for other people to take the lead and get things done at the federal level. And I know they're working hard on it, but it's harder to get things done. And I said, you know, we at the state, should just step in and protect kids in Minnesota. And do something about it, so what will your bill do? So the bill bans algorithms that are targeting unsolicited content at kids 18 and under. It's, and then it creates a civil liability if there are violations. And this has really gotten some traction. Yes, it really has. So it's passed um, with strong bipartisan support out of the House Commerce and House Judiciary Committees. And it's now sitting on the General Register, which means it could come up on the floor at any time. And it's passed um, with bipartisan support out of the Senate Commerce Committee, and they'll, it'll be heard in Senate Civil Law this week. All right, but it's not without a little bit of opposition. Who's against this? Yes, well, as expected, um, the big tech companies do not support it, and they're you know pretty vigorously opposed. I think they were sort of caught off guard. Um, so at the first hearing, you know, they, they expressed some opposition, but then they showed up in much more force at the second hearing. And now they've reached out and met with me, and I'm happy to meet with anyone. I've asked them, you know, if you have ways we can craft this language better, you know, I'm open to it. But they haven't really proposed anything. They just show me their list of all the things they're already doing to protect kids, which I appreciate that they're making strides, but it, it really hasn't been effective. So I think we just need to take a stand. All right. Have you heard from parents that are like lobbying for this or, or glad that it's coming up? Yes. Um, after a couple of the hearings, I've spoken to some parents whose um, a young family members are struggling with particularly eating disorders. And yeah, they're grateful. Um, they actually wish it was going to go longer than 18 because a lot of young women struggle with this in college. And so um, I had a mom ask me, you know, could you raise it to 25? Um, but I think we have to the intent is to keep it narrow um, and to keep it um, in a form that will make sure, um, you know, we're protecting kids, but, you know, not running afoul of other, you know, First Amendment concerns sure. or things like that. So Absolutely. We'll be watching to see how it goes. Representative Kristen Robbins, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.